maybe. Uh, is this? Are you on? You on? You on? Yeah, we're on. All right. Okay. Yeah. Hi, everybody. Uh, the Carltron broke. Don't sound so happy about it. Jeez. Uh, but the uh, but the Mimolux backup system seems to be working. I don't. Yeah. I don't know what it's doing. So. Well, yeah. Duh, well, it's it's an older system. It it. Uh, yeah. It should be fine. Anyway, all right. Well, fingers crossed. Hi, everybody. Hey, hey. Welcome back to the ship. It's always something. Um, come on in, guys. Hey, this is um, live from space. I'm Captain Orlock, and uh, the League of Space Pirates are here to see you again. Here they are, coming in. So yeah. Um, the Carltron, not working right properly, but what can you do? That's space travel for you, but thanks for tuning in. And uh, what am I tell you? Um, Chroma is here. Rusty is here. Parrot is back there. Mungo is right there. And I'm Captain Orlock. And uh, the show, as always, is brought to you by no one but us. So please uh, buy our things. You can go to spacepirate.org and get a wonderful thing like this beautiful comic book and record set. Look at that. Plus, we have uh, exciting new things happening in the future very soon, so you will find out. And you can join our club by uh, going to that website and signing up, and we'll let you know. So, spacepirate.org. All right, well, let's just go ahead and make music, because that's what you're about to see, or hear, hopefully. So let's do that. This is a constant reminder of our new album coming out later this year. Constant reminder I had no 
I always say that. Okay. Anyway, hey, uh, that was Constant Reminder from our forthcoming album, Precognitive Universe of Emergent Desire. And uh, next up we have Space Pirate Yoga! Yay! Hey! <laughs> Come on out. I got the way. This is our friend Jessica here to do some Space Pirate Yoga with us. It's important when you're in space for a long time to keep bone density, you know, something proper. Oh, yeah. Yeah, That's see? Good. I knew yeah. something. I know things. Well, now so, uh, it's, now it's, yes. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, what are you going to show us today? I am going to show you camel pose. It is good for your What's back. What's a camel? Oh. We don't have those. Like the white rhino virus. Yeah. So it's a virus pose. No. No. I'll have, okay. It's an ancient animal. Ancient animal. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for clarifying. Yeah, you can find them in the That's museums. Really um, <laughs> they retain water in their humps. I'm retaining. She said retain water. Many of us retain water. All right. In your All right. So point. it is good for your back, and it's a front of the body opener. So it's good for tension. If you have neck tension, or you carry a lot of stress in your tummy. So I'm going to go down here. I think that you can see me. I believe yes. If you're there. All right. So I'll show you first. In the beginning, you want your knees either hip width distance or a little wider apart. And I'll show you how you can do it as a beginner, or you can go a little bit more advanced as a beginner. It's a supported back bend, so you put your hands at your lower back to support yourself and then draw your shoulders and your elbows back um, for your water retaining humps. <laughs> and then look back, you can, get to, and you can just drop your head back if your neck, if you don't have neck problems. If you have neck problems, you can keep your head um, more up and aligned with your spine. So for a beginner, you just drop your head back and look back. You can stay like that. Or if you'd like to go a little deeper, you can go further back and you can reach for your heels. And once you grab your heels, you push your hips forward and you look more back. It's a really good stretch for the front side here. And you can see you're getting a nice back bend. The biggest thing when you come out, make sure you come up evenly, lower back, middle back, and your head comes up in line. A lot of people want to lead out with their shoulder and their other shoulder, but then you're coming out uneven and unaligned, so make sure you come out forward. All right. Excellent. So in your time you've just had large animals doing this in the street? Just grabbing That's what I've like heard that? about the past. I guess, yeah. Mm, yeah. I've done your research, yes. Yes, okay, <laughs> there you go. Uh, thank you very much, Jessica. Yeah. Yay. Thank you for the Space Power Yoga, and this is now going to be a mandated uh, pose for everyone to do every day yes. on the ship. Oh no. But you have to maintain it for like an hour and a half. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much, Jessica. All right, so um, next up is actually, I need to ask you a question. <gasps> no, no, I know, it's always something. Uh, you were mentioning before that you have some new equipment you wanted to show us. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, it's old, new accident. Okay, this is. So I was yes. sitting back having a nice cold refreshing beverage mm -hmm. and I spilt my squacks on, on my old cable board thing mm -hmm. that I got. Okay. It does matter. some crazy stuff. It's, it, the dark matter must have affected the circuitry. Of this does not seem like a good thing. Safe. It is safe. Okay. Well, well let's, let's, let's check it out. Okay. All right. So what, what does this do? So normally we just sound like... Like this. Okay. You want to play the song? It's like metal, metal. So now if I hit the delay on here when I'm going. Doesn't that sound wicked? Yeah, that sounds like it. just did it again. Doesn't that sound wicked? Yes, yeah, so it sounds okay. Yeah. Doesn't that sound wicked? Why is he doing that have a problem here? I think he's time moved this foot back. Doesn't that sound wicked? Um, alright. Don't, don't, don't wicked? touch him because you're going to get caught in this time loop too. Uh, what do we got? Doesn't that sound wicked? What, what do we use to break him out of the time loop? Uh, use the anti-time loop to pause Doesn't that sound wicked? Why do you touch him? Doesn't that sound wicked? Just shove this right in here. Doesn't that sound wicked? I'm gonna opt for poking with the stick. Doesn't that sound wicked? We just opened a 12 pack, so. Isn't that Can awesome? Can shoot him? No. Oh. What just happened? <laughs> Alright, so what do we got? No more. Come on! No more new equipment for you. Okay. 
All right, so you know, that's what happens every time. I don't know why I ask you questions, because I never like the answer. <laughs> All right, thank you, Rusty. Uh, and now uh, we've got our special guest today, which is Brian has come out from uh, the meat space to talk to us about what that is. So I'm very excited. Let's welcome Brian to the ship. Come on out, Brian. Before I enter, I have to tell you something. That's Doesn't on. look like Brian. Uh, I'm not uh, Brian. Yes, you're not Brian. Who are you? It's not Brian at all. Wait, what? Who are you? Hi, Brian. That's not Brian. Oh. Hello, not Brian. I am the oldest living cyborg. <laughs> okay, the oldest living cyborg. Spherical cyborgs. <laughs> Spherical cyborg. Yes. Wait, 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 first of all, where is Brian? Ryan is in a very safe place. I've got him in a spot where he's he has apple juice and he'll be fine. The pantry? I, what? <laughs> Crackers? He's in a safe space? He's in a safe space. He's he, in a safe space. With is some he, apple is juice. he alive? Yes. Yes, he's alive. Okay. He is alive. All right. So Barry. Brian's alive and not here. So we're going to bring him back another time. So you're here, and how did you get on our ship? <laughs> this is I, a jail. <laughs> Sorry, my fault. Oh, wait, we have the worst security on the ship. I know. All right, so embarrassing. how did you get on our ship? I come here humbly. I have been attached to the bottom of your spaceship for some time now, observing your ways. Okay. And I have wait, something to share from First you. of all, no one has cleaned the ship in how long? She's been attached to the bottom of the ship. His job. Out in space. In space. Arnold, and you're okay. I'm, I'm fine. I'm just fine. Lately. That's great. Okay, well, since you've okay. come all this way with us, what did, what did you want to tell us? Well, there's two things I want to tell you. First, I must explain something. I am here on a mission from Cyborg. Okay. I am the oldest living spherical cyborg. Yes. I don't know if that means anything anymore. But at any given light year after the Tiberian nations formed, my kind was considered the fancy Borgs. But I digress. <laughs> I have come on board with one reason in mind. 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 Jesus. Did you lose that? <laughs> mind. We did open a 12 pack. Mind. Okay. Mind. Did we poke her? Poke her with a stick. Mind. Mind. Yeah, get it with that thing. Mind. Oh. Okay, I'm, uh, I'm okay. Okay, okay. She's out of the loop. I'm out. I do know that I have been living on the bottom of your dregs. But it's my life right now. I'm here to shake my donation belly for all cyborgs. Oh, I should have seen this coming. Uh, mm. Any offerings that you give will be used for only good. They will not be used for any type of black hole surfing. They will not be used to... What did I just say? Nothing. Keep going, please. Okay. Um, but uh, it, I have a poem that I would like to read to you. If, if I let you read this poem, will you leave? Maybe. <laughs> it's a haiku. Okay. This is what happened. You let him in. All right. Haiku. Yes, let's hear it. But before I leave, would there be a donation? Yes, yes. Donation. Please, there we go. Here's a space bonus. Bless you. Brian out of Bless you. And what year is this from? Uh, it came from a shoe. Yeah, I don't know. I got it from a guy. I would I wash that off before yeah. you put it anywhere. No problem. Okay. Oh. I got it. All right. So, a uh, uh, haiku. A haiku. From, from the, the Spherical Cyborg Society of Range, Ranger Spaceship Hopping, I am a victim. Radio waves in my brain. Are cyborgs to blame? Reason, never the answer. Excellent. Thank Yay, you. Space particles. <laughs> All right. Can some, please, I'm, you know what? I'm going to take you to a, an escape hatch, and you can 
excellent. I'm sure this will be worth That's a lot. A lot That's worth a lot. Market. All right, let's take you. Excuse my Thank you for coming. And don't no, worry no, about no, Brian. No, I left enough no, apple juice way, for him. He'll be fine. I like her. She's nice. <sighs> Lock the, the door, people. Lock the door. Oh my God. I when I was going to clean her. All right, so hey, everybody. Uh, yeah, I guess Brian will be back another time because, uh, yeah, I don't know where he is. Okay, so um, it's going to be Chroma's Crafty Chaos coming up next. Yay! Yeah, we love that. So uh, let's have a little crafty, chaotic music to give some introduction. While we're at it, don't forget, we're going to be answering your questions from the past after her segment. So there's a little thing over here on your screen where you can type in questions for us and we will because we don't know where you are in the space-time continuum so wherever you are send us some questions and we'll happily tell you our perspective on them based on where we are in the future to you so, all right here's chroma she's getting ready to do her crafts let's find out what she's got <laughs> wow it's it's more than crafts everybody it's uh it's one of those it's one of those <laughs> Yay! That made a dramatic sound. Alright, here's Chroma. She's getting set up with her craft box. It's uncomfortable. Alright, so what's Chroma, what are you yeah. making today? I am going to make... So I have a time loop issue. Yes. And I'd like to prevent that. Okay. I'm going to make a little infinity sign. An infinity sign. Can we get that really close up to the camera? Yes. She's going to show you. She's making an infinity sign. Whoops, uh, up a little bit. Up a little bit. There you go. There you go. Yeah, sort of. All right, infinity sign. And what, is, what do you do with that infinity sign? You wear it. How? Oh, a necklace. Okay, a necklace. so this is a pendant. An yeah. infinity pendant. All right, so let's see how you make an infinity pendant with chroma. What tools are you bringing out? Hold on. I got to find them. Okay. She comes prepared. She has everything. Okay, what is that? Wire. Wire. I forget what gauge this is, but it's kind of thick. Thick wire. And you can move it. You have to be able to move it easily. Okay. Next up. In black, so it'll show up for you guys. These are little wire snips. Wire snips. Uh, back here. Mm -hmm. Um, for cutting the wire. And these are all different types of pliers. You can use any one of these. This one is round. <laughs> All right, we look like we're live, so let's do it. Hey, sorry everybody, technical difficulties. We're gonna try to show this craft again. So where were we? We were. We were done. We were kind of. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, and we're, we're done. done. <clears throat> um, so maybe review quickly for people who missed it. So we're making a little infinity sign. Yes. And you make a wire. A wire. And we're gonna add chain. And it's gonna make it a necklace. You can add a little closure to the end. Yeah, close it. You can wear it. Or you can stick it in your pocket or whatever. And you need little things to cut the wire. I don't recommend scissors, these are sharper. Don't cut yourself. That would be bad. These are pliers. So yeah, yeah. So you take black wire and leave a piece that's about, I don't know, the three or four inches? Wait a second. And wrap it around your finger. And wrap around your other finger. And leave a tail, and it kind of looks like a bow. So take these, cut it. Put that over there. What you'll do is you can use the pliers or your fingers to wrap the wire around that end to the center and wrap it the other way. And if you take your time, you can do it nice and neat, and you can use the pliers to help you it will turn into this. You can just cut off the little extra bits. These little, right? So the extra tails that you'll have from wrapping it. I don't know if you can see that because I'm black right now with my outfit. Um, you'll make this little thing. This 
a while. Next little infinity loop. Yep. Then you attach and it to a pendant. You can Two use pendant. little jump rings and add it. Or what I did is while it was not wrapped in the center, I added chain to either side. And you can add a little it's a different necklace. You add um, little jump rings to it and a little clasp, then it'll close it. So you can make them really big if you need a lot of protection against the infinity loop issues. So this is an off. infinity protection charm. Yes, yes. That happens a lot lately. We don't yeah. understand. <laughs> We've gone through some weird storms. Yeah. Awesome. All right. So it takes the go. patience. And it took a few tries. But wire's cheap. But don't poke yourself too hard. You. So hopefully Chrono. you guys have questions for us while we're put them, up. Put them on the side. Yeah. We'll, we'll answer your questions. Put All them right. over here. Or, Send or, them to us telepathy. Or email or whatever. All right. Thank you, Chroma. Hopefully you guys got that. And thank you for uh, putting up with our technical difficulties there. This is now broadcasting from space goes sometimes. It does. So, uh, speaking of which, uh, we are here to answer your questions. So what questions do you have about the future, where we are, uh, and in the past where we think you may be uh, watching this program? What do you want to know? Uh, so I believe uh, the, the Memo Lux has some questions for us. Yes. Uh, Alex has a question Alex. for us. Alex, mm -hmm. thanks for Alex. asking your question. What is your question? Um, it's a very nice question. I think it's very good. Do you play baseball, football, hockey, and soccer still? The question is, do you play baseball, football, hockey, and soccer still? And the answer is yes, but we play them all at the same time. And it's called... Chaos? Base, I, I can never pronounce it. Base <clears throat> hockey board? Sport ball. Sport ball. Base hockey. Sport ball. Base hockey. Sport ball. So it's very complicated. I could not explain the rules because if you're from the past, it's like four-dimensional thinking to understand how to play this game. But it's great. We all love it. We watch it all the time. There's no gravity. The you got, he got kicked off because he was too good at it, uh, I'm sure. Yeah. 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 Excellent. Well, great question. Thank you. And what other question do we have? Um, we have a question from one of our um, viewers, Marilyn, who wants to know, is it less stressful in the future? So. Thank you, Marilyn. Le, uh, so Marilyn asks, is it less stressful in the future? And the answer is, what, what, what is stress? stress? Wow, that's the future, people. So stress-free. On the other hand, we do have this thing where we're just like freaked out all the time and afraid of dying. Yeah. I don't know what that's called, but we have that. Not dying bad. Not, not dying bad, agita thing. So I don't know if that's similar to stress, because we do have that. But we don't have stress. So yay, no stress. That's Wee. totally been cured. Absolutely. Uh, do we have any other questions from the past? Well, yeah, here's one. Okay. Uh, I like this one. Are yes. there still, is there still something called restaurants in your are there time? Still, are there still restaurants? Are there still restaurants? It's a good question. At the end of the world. There is one at the end of the world. It's an excellent one. Um, you know, we, we go to them, but it doesn't really matter because we can just make all our own food automatically. And so it's more for fun, you know, if you want to go scans your tongue. And also, well, what would you like to add about restaurants, since you seem to be an expert on them, Rusty? Um, I like, yes. fr I like French oh, there's fries. There's more to that sentence. Go on. What? French fries. French fries. I don't even know what French is. It's one of those ancient words we just use now. But oh. Yes. French, French fries are still eaten. I don't even know what they're made of. In the future. Delicious. <laughs> All right. <laughs> those are our questions from the past. Thanks, everybody. If you didn't get your question answered, save it up for next month. We'll be back and glad to answer them for you. We appreciate it. All right. So uh, that's pretty much it. We have one more thing to do, which is play our final song for you, which is going to be uh, a cover from Ancient Ancient Earth. I love it. <laughs> this is, uh, you know, Iggy Pop, Iggy and the Stooges. It's for you. Walking Cheetah with a heart full of napalm By a runaway son of a nuclear A-bomb I am the 
world's forgotten boy The one who searches and destroys Honey, gotta help me please Somebody gotta save my soul Maybe today for me Look out honey, cause I'm using technology Ain't got time to make no apology Radiation in the dead of night Love in the middle of the fire fight Honey gotta strike me blind Somebody gotta save my soul Maybe penetrate my mind And I have the world's forgotten boy The one who searches, searching to destroy Honey, I'm the world's forgotten boy The one who's searching only to destroy Look out, honey, cause I'm using technology To make no apology So radiation in the dead of night Love in the middle of a fire fight Honey gotta strike me blind Somebody gotta save my soul Maybe penetrate my mind And I am the world's forgotten boy Searching, searching to destroy And honey, I'm the worst forgotten boy The one who searches only to destroy Forgotten boy Forgotten boy Forgotten boy Forgotten boy Something like that. Search and destroy. Rhino virus <laughs> Thank you all for I got something to show you guys. Oh, jeez. Uh, Rusty, why do I even let you near the technology? What do you got? Loops. <laughs> all right, let's see what Rusty's talking about here. Look at this loop. What is that? I made a loop. You turn the volume on? Yeah, make the loop. Okay, let's see what this is. Endless loop. Oh, jeez. All right, well, uh, we'll let you enjoy this while it loops endlessly. Uh, thanks for tuning in, everybody. We'll be back in a month when our ship comes near your system again. Thanks. Come Bye. Again? No. Perhaps we can get surprised. Leave it to Rusty. Thanks. Bye. Thanks